Welcome to the next installment of the ISO GPS mini series. Here I'm going to be talking about form, orientation, and location, what they are, and a couple of brief examples. If you'd like to learn more about this, this is covered in much more detail in our basic course. Form, orientation, and location are categories of tolerances that control different aspects of a surface. Let's start with form. Straightness is our first example. With straightness, we need to make sure that a straight line along the length of our surface does not deviate beyond the tolerance zone. We're controlling any effects that cause the surface not to be flat, like any lumps or bumps on the surface. Looking at our animation, we need to ensure that our surface stays within the red lines that indicate the edge of a tolerance zone. If our part exceeded these lines, this part would fail its inspection. While in our animation they are perpendicular to the part, they do not have to be. We only care if the measured line is straight. We aren't worried if the line isn't straight relative to anything else. If we extend our example a little bit further, we end up with flatness. Flatness is a lot like straightness, but flatness acts across the entire surface rather than, con than controlling a single line. We still have two red lines, but they're a little bit different this time because they're planes. So instead of controlling a single line, they're controlling an entire surface. We need the entire surface to be between two planes. Once again, we can reorient these planes to our heart's content to get our parts to pass, but the distance between them is fixed. Form tolerances then. They aren't relative to anything else. We're just controlling the form of a specific surface. We want it to be straight or flat. And there are some other examples also. Orientation is a little bit more complicated. Unsurprisingly, it allows us to control the orientation of a surface also. Let's consider this angularity tolerance. In this case, we have a datum A and an angularity tolerance on this surface. This tells us that our surface must be a specific angle relative to datum A. So we're controlling it, controlling the orientation of that surface, and it's controlled by two parallel planes once again. So our entire surface needs to be between those two planes that are 0.1 millimeter apart. Perpendicularity tolerances can also apply to a circular feature, like a hole. In this instance, our tolerance zone is cylindrical rather than two parallel planes. Nevertheless, it's still relative to our datum A, so it's really important to pick our datum correctly to specify the orientation it's from. Finally, location tolerances. These control the form and the orientation as well and can be used to tell us where our feature sits on our part. So not just the orientation relative to something, not just the form it takes, but where it is on our part. So let's look at this example. The position tolerance controls the feature relative to its nominal position within our tolerance zone. Let's look at the tolerance zone in our animation. It's applied around the theoretical position defined by basic dimensions from the datum references. This allows us to control the location of the axis of the hole along its entire length. As the location is controlled, both the form and orientation of the hole are also controlled. We will explore this in more detail in a moment. That concludes our brief discussion of location, orientation and form. This is covered in substantially more detail in our course if you would like additional information on it. Thank you very much.